So, okay, there you are. Okay, so let's get started then. So you did some homework, didn't you? Yes, I did a bit. Okay, so how far, like, uh, okay, we left up in this unit 10. Exactly. How far did you get? Um, until the end of number um, letter B. What? In like page one of unit 10. Page one? Yeah, I just started with the C. There's like a letter C where they just explain. Ah, okay, so you did A and B. Yeah. Okay, and uh, okay, and we'll do the C. Right. Yeah. Okay, okay, so let's check. So, ahora Robert, ahora Robert, en el trabajo, um, what was it? Mm, ahora Robert, ahora Robert. Eh, ahora Robert está, está en el trabajo. Is at what, work. what did I write? Es... Y ahora Robert en el trabajo. Oh, <laughs> sí. Sí, aquí. Ahora Robert está en el trabajo. En el trabajo. Eh, Robert está trabajando. Bien. Eh, a medianoche, anoche, no estaba en el trabajo. Ok. Estaba en la cama, estaba dormido. So this is verb to be in past. Yeah. Mm, okay, was were. Okay. Verb to be in past. Let me add it over here. Verb to be past. Was and were. Yeah. Okay. So the next one is estaba en la cama, estaba durmiendo, estoy cansado. Estaba cansado anoche. ¿Dónde está Kate? ¿Dónde estaba Kate ayer? El clima es bueno. El clima está bueno hoy. El clima está bueno ah, hoy. Ah, sí. El clima uh -huh. está bueno. Está bueno. Esta noche. Para ver. <ríe> Para ver diablas. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's it's like I don't know, like women like like putting like devil kind of cousins. horns on. Yeah, but it's like too <laughs> sexy. I mean, you you've got to go. Out. Don't tell your girlfriend though. <laughs> Just oh, let's go out. Let's go and you'll see a bunch of angels and and devils. Like oh my god. Uh, okay, uh, is that something that that you do in your hometown? Like like people go out and no, no not as not as much I think it's like I feel like here it's maybe because it's like something American yeah it's, okay it's, I think it's a bit stronger here okay yeah yeah <laughs> you're right um el clima estaba bueno la semana pasada era bueno you can say either era okay. bueno la semana pasada estaba bueno yeah I'd say yeah you know Llegas tarde, llegaste tarde. Yep, no están aquí, no estuvieron aquí la semana pasada. Past simple and imperfect. Can you mix the two in one sentence? What did you mean here? Um, well, I, I'm sometimes just really not sure which um, which past I have to use if it's past. Like technically, you know, you know, that's that more of a rule is is just something that that you need to pay attention to, and and that can change from country to country as well. So okay. that's why it's like technically you can use either, but but I mean like like it just it just, it just changes in every country. You pay attention to the way people are speaking. And the like the use of words that they that they do, so so you get an idea of how you should say some things. But uh -huh. technically, you can say either. So okay, because like there is some rules that I read, but I I wrote it down here. I'm not hundred percent okay, so sure. Okay, so past simple like... specific time frames. La semana pasada ayer hace dos días. Past simple. This is just. But I'm not sure. The... Mm, look, it's because there is, look, for example, estar. So, estar, you can say, yo estuve o estaba, right? Yeah. Estaba. Eh, yo estaba haciendo, yeah, it's just like modern rules. Like, 
this is just too tricky because you can use you can use it at any moment like either one like pretty much with any sentence okay. that's the thing like yeah i know it's tricky and i know it's a mess but but like explaining you this sentence by sentence that would be just i mean like it's better for you to just pay attention the way people speak and you will just understand like you will start knowing when to use what and when mm-hmm. okay than just like memorizing the whole rules because trust me i try to memorize rules and i that's that's not a way to like that's useful if you're going to take a test if you're going yeah. to take a test to to have the qualification like like spanish qualifications and stuff for a curriculum vitae okay that's okay <laughs> which is which is why i studied grammar and all of that for english but but to speak uh, you would you 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 won't speak like that like there's no way there's no way that you can think of the rules while you're speaking yeah but i just thought like it might you know help me to have some kind of frame to, um, to know you know where to start because sometimes i just have no idea memorize about. like like if you're going to memorize something memorize translations instead of rules because it's way easier and way more practical than than memorizing rules especially because your purpose is for speaking not to not to take a test for now i guess right yeah yeah so right. yeah like i mean like like i wanted to speak like i was just like you i was just like you when i was learning english i was like oh no, i'm going to memorize the rules the rules the rules i need the rules i need the rules and that was actually what held me back when i wanted to speak in in, in english Mm-hmm. So only when I when I forgot about the rules is when I could actually focus on speaking. Okay. So mm-hmm. if you're going to memorize something, memorize translations. You can do that by using the Tiny Cards application. Have you been making decks by chance? Uh, no, I haven't been very. Active. Okay. I mean, like you can check mine. You can check mine, mm-hmm. and I'm and I'm I'm creating some new decks with another student. I'm going to tell him to. To set the privacy to public so other students can check them out those are very good decks oh, yeah, um, good. so you so you can check them out so you can mm-hmm. study with those as well uh, el año pasado Rachel tenía 23 años así que ahora tiene 23 ¿Ah? 23 24 I guess right? ah, 24 sí. <laughs> listo cuando era un niño cuando era niño we say cuando era niño mm-hmm. cuando era niño tenía le tenía Le tenía miedo a las ranas. It's like sort of reflexive. Because remember, it's like, uh-huh. like I had some fear or something. Uh-huh. Le tenía miedo a las ranas. Or you can also say sapos. Uh-huh. Okay. okay. Um, a sapo is also, uh, have I told you this? I think that is a person who's like, uh, like the guy. Yeah, but I don't remember how you call them <laughs> in English. How do you call them in English? Uh, um, I forgot. <laughs> Okay, yeah, but I mean, a sapo is like a frog, and the frog of a classroom is a guy who reminds the teacher that they've got a test that day. Oh, and the yeah. Teacher didn't remember. Like the, the teacher didn't remember that they had a test that day, and then the frog would tell the teacher, like, "Hey, teacher, we've got a test today." And everyone would be like, "Fucking frog." <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, teníamos hambre después del viaje, pero no estábamos cansados. Good. Because describing the city of the hotel era cómodo, pero no era costoso. Mm-hmm. El hotel era cómodo, pero no era costoso. You can do either, like, era o fue. No, yeah. Mm-hmm. You can do either. Fue costoso. Era costoso. You know what? Maybe, maybe era sounds more like used to be. Okay. Okay. This one sounds more like that. And it's very common in Spanish. Like you already know that. Like it's very common to use this 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 sort of sentence, like era. So that yeah, I would yeah. say, like I would say, that's the most important thing of it. Like more than the rules is that that one of them works more like like used to, like used to something. Okay, so that's mm-hmm. why there's always like like two different translations in the past for pretty much all the sentences in past, right? Uh-huh. Yeah. Like it's not only for, for, for verb to be, for every verb. Like there are two two translations. But yeah. those translations are because one of them implies used to be. One of them. So used to be mm-hmm. is like like way more in the past and now it doesn't apply. 
kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, so hacía buen tiempo cuando estabas en vacaciones. Hacía buen tiempo. Like, what was this? Like, hacía buen tiempo cuando estabas de vacaciones. Like, like, was there like a good weather? Like, um, was... yes. Well, hold on. Let me see. What was it? <laughs> was the weather nice when you were on holiday? Ah, okay. Mm, uh, we would say that's correct, but no one would ever say that. Okay. So, so uh, that would be, was the weather, I forgot. Was the weather, was the weather mm-hmm. nice? Estaba el clima chévere cuando estabas, cuando estabas de vacaciones. Okay, like, estaba el clima chévere cuando estabas de vacaciones. Go ahead, pronunciation. Estaba el clima chévere cuando estabas de vacaciones. Sí, tus zapatos son bonitos. Eh, were they expensive? Yes. Yeah. Were, were they expensive? Were they, eran costosos. So remember, eran is must it, it is more like used to be like did they used okay, to be yeah. expensive? So it wouldn't apply, right? Yeah, it that, that would help you way, way, way more than than the rules. Because True. Yeah. Be, okay. The, would, yeah. would this sound like used to be? No. For example, uh-huh. in this case, it would sound weird, even in English. Yeah. Like, yeah. Hey, did they used to be expensive? No. It's more like fueron costosos, right? Mm-hmm. Fueron costosos. Eh, tus zapatos son bonitos. Fueron costosos. Um, porque llegaste tarde esta mañana. Porque me quedé dormido y no. Quería hacer nada. So, how, <laughs> well, how do you translate that? Because I, I, I stayed asleep. No, how do you say it? Yeah, because I overslept. Because, because I, I over, overslept. yeah. Because I overslept and I don't want to do and anything. I didn't, yeah, I didn't want to do anything. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, okay, that was it, right? Yeah. So now it's C. Okay, C, so let's see. Let's it started with the first one, I think, of C. Okay, okay. so the C is what? Uh, were you late? So yeah. were how do you late? say that in Spanish? Llegaste tarde. Uh-huh. No, I wasn't. No, no, no llegué tarde. Epa. It was some at work yesterday. Um, was t- f- fue Tom al trabajo ayer. Estaba Tom en el trabajo ayer. Because ah, it's, it's like, like a, a location. location yeah. Yeah, so, estaba Tom en el trabajo ayer, once again. Estaba Trom- Tom en el trabajo ayer. Yes, he was. Sí, él estaba. Él lo estaba. Él lo estaba. Eh, were you and Steve at the party? Mm. Was you? Um, estaban su y Steve. A la fiesta. En la fiesta. En la fiesta. No, they weren't. No, no lo estaban. No lo estaban. Estaban visitando a sus suegros. Suegros. Estaban visitando, visitando a los suegros. Suegros. A los suegros de Sue. A los suegros de Sue. So, what do you understand? Suegros is... is no, the, no, they were visiting the... Is, is that... Um, hmm? I'm, I'm not sure. Suegros. Sue's parents... in Oh, no. 
Yeah, wait, los, los suegros de Siu. Yeah, like Siu parents-in-law. Parents-in-law. Oh, okay. It sounds very similar to German. <laughs> so, yeah, suegros is that, like parents-in-law. Like, mm -hmm. suegro is father-in-law and suegra is is um mother-in-law, right? Okay. Um, the next one is... Okay, let's see the exercises. Um, where were these three people? These people at three o'clock yesterday afternoon. So Joe was in bed. Um, Joe estaba en cama. Joe estaba en la cama. En la en cama. La cama. Eh, mm. Haciéndose el dormido para no ir a la escuela. So, what do you understand? Haciéndose el dormido para... He, he pretended to be sleeping that he doesn't have, so he doesn't have to go to school <laughs> yeah pretending to be sleeping yeah right that that's the to pretending to be asleep yeah <laughs> okay haciéndose oh wait, that would be like reflexive haciéndose haciéndose el dormido like pretending mm -hmm. to be asleep or yeah to not go to school the second one um check e Kate estaban en el cine. Sí. Sue. Y Sue, Sue estaba en el estación de tren. Estaba en la estación del tren. Estación del tren. Del tren. Esperando. Esperando a su novio, pero él nunca llegó <laughs> porque oh, no. la moza no lo dejó. So sad. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> What's moza again? I forgot. Oh, come on. You haven't, you haven't memorized moza? Okay. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> okay. Remember, the moza is a lover. Uh... So what does it say? Moza. <laughs> um, she, she was at the train station waiting for her boyfriend, but he never arrived because he. He never. He never. Yeah, right. Because. Right. Because. Because. The lover. Uh -huh. No lot. No, no, <laughs> didn't, what? <laughs> didn't let him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, didn't let him go. Oh, that's sad. Uh, no, I mean, why sad? <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, no. Um, the next one is Mr. and Mrs. He Mrs. Hall. Uh, what? Miss, uh, señor y señora Hall estaban en un restaurante. Otra vez. El señor y la señora. El señor y la señora Hall, Hall estaban en un restaurante. Pero después tuvieron que salir corriendo a un hospital porque el señor Hall terminó siendo alérgico a los mariscos. So what do you understand? But after they had to um, leave or run to the hospital because Mr. Hall um started feeling like ended up ended oh, up being ended up being allergic to um seafood to seafood Mariscos. yeah 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 exactly yeah ah you you remember 
Mariscos, but not Mosa. Come on. <laughs> It's more important the mosa than ma the mariscos. <laughs> no, mariscos because I just saw it at some restaurants like yesterday. Ah, uh, okay. Ben, Ben, where was he? Um, it was uh at the bottom of Calle Yes. Like okay, close to Exito. Okay, did it, but did you go? Like, did you? No, eat no, there? no. Just walked past. So, but how did you know it was mari it was seafood? Yeah, because there were like a lot of like fish and things, like drawings and pictures. <laughs> okay, it was very, very colorful and fishy. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> fishy. Okay, okay. So, um, Ben, where was he at three o'clock? Donde estaba Ben a las tres? Uh huh. But then he was at the beach. So, él, él estaba en la playa. Él estaba en la playa. Y tú, ¿dónde estabas a las tres de la tarde? Y yo, yo estaba trabajando. O oh, yo estaba en mi trabajo. Uh -huh. Yo estaba en mi trabajo. Trabajando como mula como. y sudando como caballo. <laughs> so, what do you understand from that? Working like a mule and sweating like a horse. <laughs> uh, <laughs> almost. <laughs> Almost <laughs> like that's the des that, that's the description like um the, the yeah like you felt. <laughs> hey, you know what? Today I I tried like um I told you about the VR thing, right? Yeah. So today I tried something like it's not there like like till the like so real thing that I wanted to be, but but it's like like with avatars like like a video game mm -hmm. so so you can draw in the air and stuff it's very nice like i tried one of those and and like like the host like the uh -huh. host like i mean like it's on it's by firefox like the browser okay. they launched it and uh, you can sign in from any device but of course on a vr is way better because i mean like it feels like you're there although it's it, it's like cartoons thing so it's not that real, but you interact with the VR though. So it's very nice. It's That's like, nice. I really like it. and there is like a social network I didn't know about. Do you know? Did you know like um, something space like um, alt alt space? I think it's oh an yeah, I I read something about it once. Yeah, and and it's pretty much a social network, but on VR. So you talk to people on this VR like. It's very nice. So I think there are concerts held on that VR thing. I mean, it's it's very cool. Like, I'm going to. I haven't tried that one. Like I'm going to. Tr I tried the one by Firefox browser, uh -huh. um, but and on this one, like you can draw in the air and stuff. But uh -huh. I'm going to, to to try the the social network. Uh, may, maybe you have to pay like some membership there. I'm going to. I'm, I'm going to test it with a friend of mine, the friend who's got the the, the Oculus Quest. Let's see what 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 it's like. I mean, I'm yeah, very interested. So be interesting. In that. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> so let's see. Last year she was 22, so she is. Oh, you did this. Okay, so today mm. the weather is nice, but yesterday it was very cold. Um. So. Hoy el tiempo. El clima. El oh, clima. el clima. El clima and tiempo. Like tiempo, like some people will ha would have to think about it for a bit to understand what you mean by tiempo. So uh -huh. it's better that you say clima instead. Okay. Hoy, so, hoy el clima estuvo bien. Estuvo chévere. Chévere. <laughs> Pero ayer um, lo... Estuvo, where is it? Very cold. Ah, pero ayer estuvo muy frío. 
Now, remember that when we using when we saying a sentence with et in English, in Spanish, you just skip the pronoun. You just start from the conjugation. Like, pero ayer estuvo muy ah, sí. uh -huh. frío. Okay. So, but yesterday it was very cold. Um, so, how do you translate this? Um, tonight, like, no. Yeah. To, tonight, one year ago, it was rainy, but today it isn't. Um... Um, este noche hace esta, esta noche uh -huh. hace un año sí. y estuvo what did you say it was raining it was raining estuvo lloviendo but tonight is very clear Pero um, um, esta noche es muy, muy, muy despejado. Despejado. Yeah, despejado. That's like, yeah, like a clear sky, right? Uh -huh. Do we say anything different in English? I don't remember. Like Clear sky? Yeah, clear yeah, sky, no, right? the, Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, the next one is, the next one is, the next one is. Mark, Mark, Mark. Oh no, no. Um, I'm hungry. Can I have something to eat? Um, esto. Ah uh, no. Tengo hambre. Puedo. Yeah, remember, remember that the translation, the correct translation of that would be "estoy hambriento," but no one says that. Okay. Oh yeah. <laughs> Can I have something to eat? Puedo, puedo tener algo para comer. We would say, you know, is can I have some puedo mm, puedo tener algo de comer. Puedo tener algo de comer. Yeah. It sounds weird though, like uh in Spanish we would say something more like can I eat something? Can I eat anything? Like have you got anything to eat? Mm-hmm. So ¿Tienes algo? Ah, so, ¿tienes algo para comer? Algo de comer. ¿Tienes algo de comer? ¿Tienes algo de comer? Sí. And the very last of the day, I'll feel fine this morning, but I wasn't, but I wasn't, no, but I was very tired last night. Um, me siento chévere. Bien. Esta ma uh, me siento bien, bien esta mañana, pero um, la noche pasada me me oh what's the pass for sentir me pero, se, pero me no, sentí but, but, I, but I was but I was very tired pero estaba muy cansado anoche ah sí okay so go ahead, uh -huh. pronunciation. Pero estaba muy cansado anoche. Pero estaba muy cansado anoche. Okay, mate. So um, could you stop the recording for a bit so we can talk about your next lessons? Mm -hmm. uh,